Hi everybody, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be working on a 10 by 10 stretch canvas and I'm just going to be doing a simple flip cut pour using three colors. The colors will be listed in the video description and I've already mixed my colors and I've added spot on treadmill lubricant so I can get some cells. So let's begin by getting our cup ready. I'm going to be adding a little bit of white to the top of my cup. I'm going to give the cup a slight stir in the shape of an X. Just going to flip the cup onto the canvas and let it sit there for a few moments so that the paint can go all the way down the cup. Okay, let's lift our cup and see what we have. I'm just setting the cup on the side to get the rest of the paint out of there. I see some beautiful sea type of colors. I might end up using this for a water background and doing some kind of embellishment on it. I'm going to let this sit here for a couple minutes so that cells can come up. So now I'm going to torch it so I can pop any bubbles and help cells develop. So I do see some more cells coming up. Let's tilt this and see what we have. Always try to bring it back to the center. Right now I'm using my hand as an edge guard so that we don't lose all of that paint. You always want to make sure your corners are covered. Now I'm just letting it flow back to the center. Now I'm just checking around to make sure all my corners are covered. Looks like I have full coverage there. Some really beautiful colors. That would make a really nice background for maybe a little sea turtle swimming through there. Now I'm going to torch it again to see if any other cells develop and to make sure all of the air bubbles are popped. Okay, there we have it, our sea colored paint pour. Stay tuned for close-ups on this, and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. I put out a new video every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you next time. Bye.